perfect. What's up everyone, this is Bill. Uh, today I got a short video for you guys. So a buddy of mine had this uh, Pod 300 um, said that it wasn't working and I told him I'll take a look at it and what I found out is that uh, somebody had actually tried to pry it open. So if you open the Pod 300 I couldn't find a single video on how to disassemble this thing. So if you open the Pod 300, if you take a small flathead screwdriver, and you have these little tabs in here, okay? So it actually goes like this. You have these little tabs in here. Okay, let's see if we can get it on camera here. Come on, buddy. Jeez, don't want to focus. There we go. Okay, you see where this hole is? Okay, there's a tab inside this back plate. Okay, right there. There's a tab inside this plate. Okay, if you stick your screwdriver through that hole, that tab moves inward towards the center of the device. All of them do. Okay, so if you put it in there and push, Get something in between here and pry. Let's see, put it in here like this and push. Get something in here and pry up. Go all the way around, just walk it around, lift it up a little bit at a time. You'll be able to pop this back plate off. And what you'll find, you can see there's these two big divots. Okay, what you'll find is that it is packed with a silicone rubber and there is a wire. That is sealed inside this okay so when you peel this rubber up if you were to work on it here's how the display looks down here at the bottom you'll see so this is the bottom of the device i'm sorry this is the bottom of it right here okay at the bottom there is two wires a black and red wire cares anyway there's a black and red wire down here at the bottom if you're looking at it like this be on the right hand side where it says dyno jet at the jet end there's two red wires or a black and red wire and then on the opposite corner right here there's a little tab as you can see the tab is broken okay it would be a clip that would lift up from the end and that would let you slide this out if you just pull up on that rubber the wire is sealed in the rubber. So you will rip it off here and here where it's soldered. Okay, so what you want to do if you are working on this and then you have a ribbon wire underneath and the silicone, this rubber goes underneath the ribbon wire as well. Okay, goes underneath. So, my suggestion would be that you take a razor and cut slowly on the top half of it It'd be up here like this okay if you cut slowly you'll be able to peel this top half off you'll be able to lift the bottom half up a little bit and you'll be able to see where it is connected okay so I'm gonna see if I can get this thing working I my thoughts are that it probably works I think somebody just tried to rip it open Okay, and if it does work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it, and you have these indicator lights that you can program inside the Pod 300 to whatever you want. So I'm going to solder a couple wires off of one of these indicator lights, and then we can have set up it so it is a shift light up on the dash. So it's a little brighter than these, because these are not that bright, and it is not super easy to see these light up. Okay, so there's how it sits. So you have a yellow, red, green. I think it goes yellow, green, red. LED in there. Okay, so 
I'll give you guys a little status update. I'm going to unscrew these screws. And unfortunately, this tab is broken, but I think we can hot glue that back in there. You can see there, there's just two prongs. We want to be careful not to break the solder over here at this end. Okay. So anyway, that's what the inside of a Pod 300 looks like from DinoJet. Okay. Perfect.